Yo. I'll chill right tonight. So <clears throat> I just went, I just came back from movies. I saw uh, Wind River tonight. Uh, I seen a few people talking about it. Um, wasn't nothing I really too much heard about. I really didn't see, I didn't see a trailer for it. I think it's uh, in the theaters and I really didn't pay too much attention to it at all. Uh, I, it kind of, from the trailer, it looked like the movie Snowman they got coming out. I thought we had like a serial killer or something killing people. Uh, it just arrived in the snow, being the snow. Because that's what I thought like, it was going to be similar to, but I don't know because that movie hasn't came out yet. So I just, you know, I said, I'm going to go check it out and see what it's about. Um, it stars Jeremy Renner and uh, Elizabeth Olsen. <sighs> okay, it, it, it has two Avengers in it, okay? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do this without saying that. I, I had to punish, and it had to punish in it too, the other place to punish. I can't think of the damn name right now. So I couldn't help but, I can't, come on now. It's basically about uh, this uh, FBI agent comes up. Uh, Jeremy Renner is this guy. He's a hunter, and he discovers a, a dead girl. You know what I'm saying? Out in the FBI comes. There's one lady, uh, Elizabeth Olsen's character, Jane. Uh, Jeremy Renner's character name is Corey, and uh, she, she she comes. And the crazy thing is that they're trying to the case labor as a homicide but they can't because she didn't necessarily die from actually being killed even though you know it was a murder took place but and, and the other she can't uh jane character can't i mean elizabeth olsen character can't get the other fbi agent to come in unless it's labeled her death is was caused by a homicide so they have to basically find the killers themselves and and I, this this was a really really good movie. Like this is this is some and that has some re, like some really strong performances from both Jeremy Renner and uh, Elizabeth Olsen. I it it there there's something that happened. I want I don't want to spoil this. I really do not want to spoil it because I think if you just don't have nothing to do, I definitely think I'm definitely recommending you to go check this movie out. I think there's something, there's a very, very deep, not necessarily message, but something going on inside the story that you see and you, you really want to know. It, and to be honest, you want to know more. To, to be, I let the movie still add a question in my head, like, damn, what the fuck happened in, in, in such situation? Uh, because it starts off with Jeremy Renner want to see his son. And I thought he was going to play a bigger role in it, but he he really does does not him and his uh, I guess his ex his, his ex wife, and and you see like a lot of details. You you just see hints at little little things like this and here and there. You just wonder like, wait, what what's going on with him? Like what happened? And then it boom it drops on you just like oh shit, and you see why he's so influenced. To, to try to get this thing solved and and, and some of the stuff Elizabeth Olsen did was just spectacular because some of the stuff that was going on in the movie she just can I ain't gonna say completely understand it's just it, it was just not mind boggling it just was overwhelming and she I couldn't hit she couldn't handle it she, she wasn't used to it seemed like she really wasn't used to being in that surrounding in that area because it was like a 20 mile radius of these six cops got the patrol and they really can't it's like filled with snow and mountains and a few people so how do you get to each place in time you can't and then you out in the you out in the snow in the in the the junk line i snow i would say snowy jungle i'm gonna say but it's not really like a jungle how do you discover people you know it, it's it's a lot and then you have these, uh, her, the guy, the, the, the girl who's that, her parents, and uh, there's a scene where Elizabeth Olsen, this is one of the best, there's, there's a few scenes in here that are just fucking extraordinary. There's a scene where Elizabeth Olsen's talking to uh, the young girl's father, and she tries to talk to the mother, and there's something going on at that moment, and it's just it's fucking crazy then there's a moment at that same time Jeremy Winner comes up and you just 
it's so much emotion. And then there's just uh, there's another thing where there's just Elizabeth Olsen and, and Jeremy Marino just talking back and forth. And he's telling a story. Some of the best shit I've seen, dog. Towards the end, the movie sees the... I mean, it picked up like fast. Some shit just started to happen. I was like, damn. It, I don't know. It seemed like a slow pace, but it was good, though. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, uh -huh, this is so boring. It was, this was some interesting shit. Like, it was some moments and it, it caught you off guard, but it was like towards the end, it was just like, boom. And kind of, I had like, like a bit, and I, and I love the ending of it so much. Uh, it, it, like I said, it was a like, very good movie and very strong performances. I, I, it pretty, I wasn't, some people pretty much uh, didn't like the pacing towards the end. But for me, it kind of made sense, but at the same time, it was like, damn. It, it kind of got like, eh, you know what I'm saying? That's probably my only, it, it, I ain't gonna say not believable, but it's just like, wow, shit, well, that escalated like that. So that's my only thing. Other than that, this movie was fucking great. Like, for real. Uh, get a big box of popcorn, because you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna, you're gonna Big box. I recommend this movie and a big box of popcorn and a drink. So, if you've seen it, let me know what you guys think about the, the, the film. You know what I'm saying? Overall, as a whole, and in general, your favorite parts of anything. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews. Hit the link uh, in my description for all my other social media outlets. If you want to hit me up on now, talk other movies to refer me to other movies you guys want me to see, go so I can review. Just let me know. Past or present, anything, you know what I'm saying? If you got any past movies you think I should review on my channel, just let me know. I, if I haven't seen them, I'll watch them. Even if I have seen them, I'll just watch them again. So that's all. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting my ass to bed. I'm out.